Over the years, we've noticed a lot of RV bathroom faucets are lacking. Either the sink is too shallow, or like in our case, the faucet's too low. So today, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to replace your bathroom faucet. Or at least I hope it's easy. So with this setup, the sink is just fine, but the faucet is so low and so close to the back end here, you can't even wash your hands or brush your teeth without getting water everywhere. So that's what we're gonna fix. The first thing you wanna do before working on the faucet is turn off your water pump so you don't get sprayed with water. Now I'm gonna get in here and assess the situation. Then you wanna open the faucet, let out every little last drop of water. Shake the handle to make sure it's all gone before you start working on the plumbing. Well, this looks pretty easy. I don't even think I'm gonna need any tools. Well, maybe I should get a towel, just in case. Okay. So I'm unscrewing the cold water. Success on the cold water. Now I'm doing the hot water. Okay. Not a bad start, pretty easy. I do need a tool. Okay, I'll be back. Speed wrench or ratchet, whatever. Looks like the right size. So I'm just unscrewing the faucet here. Or at least I hope that's what I'm doing. Oops. There. Why would you screw up? So I dropped this one's brother. Way back here. <laughs> oh crap. And I gotta get another tool. You helping out, Tinga? <laughs> My thinking is I can remove this false wall and get the other nut. It's definitely tight. <laughs> nice. It only took me 10 minutes. Okay, what's next? Come on out. Come on. Thanks for the help. You can see that this new one is a lot taller. So hopefully it'll work out a lot better. Take all these parts off. Make sure you don't lose them. <laughs> I think that one stays on. Much better. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. It's definitely a problem. The new faucet is about two inches shorter here. So I'm gonna have to make a run, run number one to the hardware store. Uh -oh. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you very much. Can I help you These are actually made for a cabinet that's too thick. Um, that's what they're made for. So these extra pieces are just trash, unfortunately. Very simple. Just be careful not to cross thread. Don't force it. So what happens is, is I tighten it down this little rubber gasket seals to make it waterproof. So we don't need Teflon tape. We don't need anything else. We just screw it on. Okay, hopefully that's good. Uh-oh. Oh, hell. We'll get another tool. Try this again. Get it. 
real tight again. Use this. Hey, are these things going to fit on there? So the next step would actually be put these on. Before I tighten it down, I want to make sure the faucet is as close this way as possible so we don't have that same issue of getting water everywhere. So. Try these again. Third time's a charm. Okay. One more time. <sighs> Last thing I think is just connecting the hoses. It's not very flexible for plastic. <laughs> okay. Hey, there we go. Down nice and tight. Same thing, no Teflon tape. Okay, now the hot water line. A little bit of PVC pipe in the way here. Hopefully, it's my it's my drain hole. Hopefully, it didn't knock anything loose. Man, it's like right in the way. It. In theory, it should be good. Let's test it out. Water pump on. Okay, now here's the scary part. Ah, son of a. Got two leaks. Water pump off. Leaks are coming from the plastic thing. So I'm tightening these down a little bit more, as much as I can, as tight as I can get them. Maybe there's a better tool for this. It's time to get serious. No way this is gonna like. <sighs> Let's try it again. Pump on. Let's see. Hey. Oh, shh. Sh Nikes. Still small leak. Jeez. What the hell? It's a very, very small leak, so maybe I'm making progress. Maybe. One last. Uh, tighten. Let's give it a shot. Water pump on. Pump stopped. That must mean it's not leaking. Yes. Okay, good. Good. I tightened the whole heck out of it. I let it sit there for 10 minutes with the pump on. 
and I saw a little bead of water, so I don't care what that guy told me, I'm gonna put some Teflon tape around the pipe and see if that works. Tying the holy bejesus out of it, and I think it's working. The Teflon tape, Teflon tape, I think did the trick. I'm gonna let it sit here for about an hour before I put everything away, and uh, just monitor it really closely to make sure there's no leaks. You see how easy it is? Well, maybe not for me, but hey, either way, it's totally worth it.